Hi everybody, welcome back to <laughs> Manor and Brass. Sorry, for a moment I forgot what I was playing. Um, episode 6 with me, Sid, and uh, this is the first week that we've had the full, um, full double episode. Uh, and earlier in the week we threw this together, this building, which is largely a building. It's got a couple of guys in there, and we've got a village of trading hall down there, which we're going to go and look at in a moment. Um, and I put four golems down in this pit, which the glass wasn't there originally, uh, and I now only have one. And I have to ask the question, why have I only got one? Um, which is why there is now glass, because magical golems don't care about physics, and uh, as a result, you know, they uh, uh, they will just do their thing. Um, so I have got another four golems worth of bits to be on with to get these guys going again. Um, in terms of trading, I really cannot fault this. It is, you know, I could I come back in and the, basically the barrels will fall. I'm actually contemplating whether I need to upgrade the barrel again. Although I think already think it is gold level, and I don't want to really waste the um, the gold on things. All right, let's pop you there for a second. Let me grab the bell bind it to you and tell you to move to there and then interact with might as well just come down like that thank you and then we can take you and put I'm gonna put five in this time four Four was fine, we kept up, we kept up fine off. I stick five in. Um, they are behind glass, so hopefully this time they will be safe. Um, again, I could use upgraded golems, I could use the, well, certainly the, um, the parts I've got anyway. Uh, let me just get the next one built up. So, yeah, that is where we're at. But today, today is going to be all about storage, equipment, and the nether. Move to there, if you do not mind, sir. Uh, and then interact with that if you don't mind as well. Thank you. And let me get the last two done. Uh, one. Oh damn! Where's where's me thing gone now? Huh? Well, I tell you, I know where I know where he's gone now. Uh, it's gone into the guts of the system. Can I beat it before before it ends up in the incinerator? So, oh, I can't get in that way. I'm not going to beat it in the incinerator that way, am I? Hup! Ow! Fish! Fish. I don't think I heard it fall in. There it is. It's come in. Slowly. Anyway, yeah, let me get these last two in and, uh, and we can relax a little bit. Uh, Gib, thank you. Right, yeah. Give me that. Let me put you over there. I'm going to stick you. I don't know. I'll stick you there that to this time, and we'll uh, yeah. I'll be back in a short while. All right. So I've got a slight problem. I need to stop them doing this. Um, so that's my next job. And let me show you what I've been up to while we're while we're waiting. So that's 
five columns now working in here. Now over here you'll notice another cluster of villagers on the map, or at least another cluster of green dots. And these are, well, this is a trading post, um, allows me to trade with all the villagers in the area. These are master, he's a master armourer, um, and he is a master armourer, and I don't really need one of these. He is a master armourer, and he is a master armourer. What I really need is one of these with all four diamond armour traits. Um, he is a expert toolsmith. He is a master toolsmith. Uh, the one of them I really need, to be honest. He's an expert, and he is an expert. Uh, the weaponsmith I didn't do, um, but I did go and borrow one of Frost's to uh, trade with. And the reason for that is because I need to up my ante when it comes to <laughs> armor games. So I, I did spend pretty much all of the emeralds that I got for trading using that system uh, between episodes. Now, didn't do a lot else, did connect the road up to that building over there. As I say, we need to just sort out that thing there. But what I did do was all over here, or the bulk of what I did do was all over here. I also did a big exploration session and these are full of the loot from those explorations uh, I've got a few more been and captured a few more villagers because you know I'm kind of going through them fairly quickly um, and I have a little bit of obsidian that's all the obsidian I own in the world so uh, we need more obsidian and um, yeah I have made these which I think, I mean, the clock is the is some from supplementaries, and I think that really works really well as a grandfather clock. I've got one in here, and I've got one upstairs in the library, and I now have my kitchen. So all of my food is stored up here. My eggies, got uh, all the veggies, got wheat, meat, fruit, lots of storage, um, decorative stuff, cutting board. I've gone and put the Farmer's Delights uh, cooking pot and stuff. I've got the Farmer's Respite kettle, which uh, allows me to make things like rose hip tea or dandelion tea. Or uh, I don't even know how you make dandelion tea. Let's have a look. Dandelion and tea. So I need to get some tea. I have no idea where I get tea from, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. The cookie jars, the um, skillet for cooking we've got the um farmers this actually works as a fire but we've also got furnaces on the side uh, that is an infinite water source that that block there is uh, upside downstairs so that'll, that's all nice hidden and yeah i am happy with the way this turned out um in terms of decoration this is going to become the dining room so that's fine um but the big area that i have worked on is down here and this area is looking considerably less cluttered another infinite water source there i'm making sure there's plenty of those about discreetly hidden that one is not quite so well hidden but meh. what are we going to do eh um yeah, and the big change is down here, which is this is now the storage area. And in here I have the things I am making today. Uh, I want that requires me to make two comparators. There we go. There's a, the missing thing. I want to make this particular recipe. That requires two quartz blocks. There's a cat outside wants to come in. That requires the output from that one, I think. And these will come to in a bit. Um, so yeah, we've basically done a fair bit of uh, getting, leveling up our our game, if you like, for want of a better word. And in fact, I'm going to keep that dirt on me because I was carrying that around. Over here is what I've been trading. So here we've got a bunch of the traded armors. Here we've got a bunch of the traded materials. I've got one trade to pick. I really need more than one, but that's fine. Uh, and I do need it to be more, better than efficiency, but there's an efficiency three. I could do with an efficiency four realistically, but I can make that by disenchanting these things. And that cluster there will make me a disenchanter. So that's what that's for. Anyway, 
first things first, I need to go and grab some obsidian. Let me go and do that and I'll be right back with you. All right, I've, uh, I've got, well, all of the other. I also have been over to see Rushed, um, who <laughs> lives about 30,000 blocks away. Luckily, there's a warp plate over at Frost's place, so just a couple of levels to get there and then we can warp uh, over to, he's uh, doing amazing stuff in the desert, uh, the graveyard biome. Um, so at some point, uh, some point when I have a little more time, we will do, and people have time to get a little bit further along with the, um, the build. So, uh, I need you. I'm going to need a fair bit of you as well. That should be enough for now. Um, I will do some base tours on the actual place and, you know, and if anybody doesn't want me to, just let me know before we go, because, you know. Um, but I need to landscape, and a landscape we shall. So I have got this going on. I want basically at the end of this, which this line here is in direct line with the door, so that's perfect. I'm going to pull this down, we're going to bring it into the ground, we're going to have um, a bit of a little footing sticking out there, a little bit of a footing sticking out there, and a big stone arch suspending our nether portal, which will be two or three blocks across from here. There'll be a bridge going across to it uh, with a mob trap to stop anything coming through that I don't want to come through, obviously, because that is the dream, isn't it? We don't want unwanted mobs. I don't know why this is such a mess down here, but we'll, we'll sort that. Obviously my um, let's just figure this out, shall we? Because I would like to use just dross that I've got kicking around for the um, for the last bulk of the filling in, so cobblestone for the main part, and and then we'll I'm going to overhang this so it's like a, you know, a natural cliff. We we can, these will be a bit smooth to start off with, but that's uh, easily fixed. And of course, I will then need to go and re move my petal apocryphy somewhere a little bit more. Thing I may actually, yeah, I could do like a stairwell down down there. That might be an idea. Um, and yeah, I realised that most people would have just gone, you know, cube of, cube of obsidian, yeah, well, the portal shape of obsidian, probably the smallest portal possible to save themselves building it and had done with. I am not most people. <laughs> um, if I'm going to build it, I'm going to build it right the first time and, um, you yeah, know, damn the consequences. But will and and again, you know that I'm not going to skimp on the filling. This is going to be definitely done proper. So, yeah, the next thing you should see, hopefully, is this made into a proper little cliff with all of its fun and games attached and again we'll tidy it up a little bit better as soon as I have got this done and you know smooth stone and yada yada in fact I'm probably going to just come along and do that at this point Maybe uh, it would take you out of the way because you're just in the way right now. And uh, yeah, well, we'll see how this goes um, once we've once we've built and filled and and on all the other stuff and dug and hollowed and sorted out water flows and all the other things that you we you know have to do when you do this kind of work. So yeah, that's. Uh, that's as good a start as any and uh, 
I've just jumped over haven't I? I need my I need to get these stairs done uh, I'll get those done as well while I'm at it how's that for a plan uh, maybe even smooth this off a little bit just so it's not quite such a horrific nightmare of hmm I mean do I even want half of this probably not that bit That might be a better use. Uh, oh, hi. Oh, is that for me? Thank you, sir. Uh, the only problem with this sword right now is I have to go and spend an age chasing after them. And then you drop the shell not the bits I want. Right, come on, let's get this done. Uh, so my thoughts are that we will get this improved. So we've got, you know, this little kind of outcroppy bit here. That works. Um, and of course that will come down there like that probably one more over and uh, well we'll be good although we can probably lose that now yeah, well, we'll see what happens first things first need to backfill this thing because I do not like holes in terrain ah and I don't want to waste that on it right yeah I'll be back in a bit all right this is going steadily <laughs> I don't know why I decided to do this this way to start off with, but uh, we're where we are now. This is probably one of the most useful building spells that <laughs> exists. Uh, this uh, is my projectile swapsy spell. So I can pick a block, whatever's in my offhand, bang, swaps is over. Um, so for example, Got a little bit of andesite. I don't want to go too mad with this, but we'll stick a bit there. A little bit there. Oh, it's not in my offhand. <laughs> I keep making that mistake. It's interesting. It's certainly ugly. Um, but that's fine because we're going to we're going to wear this a little bit next we're going to throw some stairs into it we're going to throw some leaves into it we're basically going to make it look uh, also going to throw a few glow berries from, hanging from the top we've got the big chains obviously that needs to change out for um, obsidian and again i will use the spell now my spell will swap blocks but it won't swap blocks that the spell can't break so currently I couldn't have used this spell to do um, obsidian for example to swap and mine obsidian out for say dirt um, and that's as it should be now I don't want to go too mad with these ones because they are no again I've even got the wrong thing in the wrong hand there these are not stone, these are cobble from chipped. So, and I have to nearly kill it myself, I put a water source in, so I'll finish off the ground down here in a bit. It is going to be ground down here, it's not going to be all water, and then we obviously need to put the cliff in. Uh, I think that's probably enough of those. Uh, have I got any other? I know I've got all the blocks that I brought as a possible uh, explanation. We can chuck a little bit of that in. Thank you, Quark. Uh, maybe one there. And there. I don't want to go to, again, too mad. I've only got three out, three more anyway, so we'll keep them low down near the waterline where you would expect that kind of thing to happen. Right. What next? Um, well, we got certainly got plenty of stairs to throw in. Did I bring... I didn't. Why did I not? Okay, I'm just going to go grab some walls as well of the same variety of thing because 
even walls would look interesting. We can throw a few slabs in as well. Break, because obviously ranged expel will make short work of if I want to, for example, break that and make it look a little bit more damaged. That will work. Uh, and then I'll need to go and grab um, some bits. But anyway, I need to go and grab some leaves as well. That's another thing. Um, and all the trees around here are the wrong bloody kind. Okay, that's fine. I shall go find leaves as well. Um, but <laughs> it's quite an impressive structure. I think hopefully once it's got the uh, curves and that tidied, that's tidied up a little bit, we'll be able to call it good. Anyway, let me go and grab some more stuff because this is nowhere near done and it's going to take a while still. So back in a bit. All right, it's built. Uh, it's big. And we're going to light it. I have also got pretty much naked. I mean, that's all crap. It doesn't matter. Uh, those are not important. Backpack has got tombstone soul bound, as has the tool belt, which I'm using to store spells. These don't, but actually, let me just... Um, let me just take off the water breathing one, because I don't really need that. Um, and of course, you know, it has been commented on about the relative OP-ness of a OP nature. Oh, that's, that's an unfortunate turn of phrase, isn't it? Of, um, of the charms, but, you know, that has already been mentioned. So, we've got it. It's, it's built. Um, we got it's foliage, it's ruined. We've got uh, like a little kind of a swamp almost going on down here with that lovely tree. Our first one of those I planted goes straight through the thing. So massive great willow tree, few bits and pieces, lots of moss and uh... well, that can't go in my backpack. So I've left it over there and I think that is it. In theory, any pigment spawning through here shouldn't. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. Right, where? Oh, I know what I didn't do, which was foolish of me, but that's fine. Didn't fawn above a lava lake, which was my biggest fear, of course. Oops, hello. And I haven't got my dig spell on me, so let's um, let's just gas proof this as best we can. Keep it safe from that side. That should do us. And uh, I need my diggy diggy pew pew. Uh, actually, I don't really need diggy diggy pew pew, do I? I can probably work the area. What I actually need is this stuff. Um, more than anything anyway. And you've got to say, I've got to say I do love mining with magic. It's, um, it's always a pleasure and never a chore. So I need two of those and the rest, I think that's all I need. And we're good. Love to know what that is over there. Near, nicely near a crimson forest. I'm not sure what we're all actually saying, we'll check that in a moment. And then we can go back. And the world is a good and happy place. <laughs> 
Okay, let me pick you up. And I need to re-equip, of course, but uh, we'll do that in a moment. But yeah, that, that I am really happy with. So let's have a screenshot because I may take another one once the lighting levels are a bit different. But um, yeah, what was Rock saying? Anyway. Old Betsy. <laughs> okay. I don't know who old Betsy is. I'm not sure whether there's a thing, but anyway. Yes, we can get on. Let me just re-equip and I'll be back in a second. All right, so what have we got going on here? I think that's right. Let me just double check. That should be... Oh, maybe. Oh, hang on. Please don't be wrong on that. Dis and disenchant. So there's multiple ways of disenchanting items in this uh, book of disenchantment, which I've been using for souls. There's the disenchanter from Create Factory Enchant uh, Enchantment Industry, disenchantment table, and the disenchant rune manner and artifice. I don't know about that one. We will play with it. But this, this is the cheap. So it is a chiseled quartz. Uh, okay. That's still okay. I can manage that um, because we can take you and turn you into those and do that. And then we got that. That's all good. Right. So first things first, we need to make comparators. Um, I will need to obviously go back and get more of this at some point. And then the comparator is used for that one. If I remember rightly. Uh, yeah. Is that right? That gives you a storage terminal. I need two more comparators. I did not make enough. Damn me. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. A uh, bit of redstone. One, two, three, four, five, six. Because I want two, obviously. Um, uh, stickage. That would be the thing that was missing from my list of stuff. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Grab those. Do that. Now, of course, the other thing I do need to make is the connector, which I haven't taken account of into any of this in <laughs> any of this work here, because you know, why would I? I can always go back now. Now I've got the portal. Um, that makes life a lot easier. So one, two, three, four. That, 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 and those gives me two storage terminals and then if we go and grab this lot and I have eaten heavily into my diamonds this uh, episode which is of course why I have um, elected to go down the villager route for dump well, dump oh yes of course there two crafting terminals so that's all good um, it's kind of crazy. Why would you waste eight diamonds making a diamond chest plate when you can work a armor a villager up with a few simple trades and get uh, get all of that for free and those for free? Um, while I'm at it, we need to put you back in there. Now, some of these I will be disenchanting. Maybe not that, but maybe not these. Depth Strider I may take, but I believe I have a Depth Strider pair of boots somewhere yeah with a three on it so yeah maybe not who knows anyway let's go and look at tums so the inventory connector i need ah oh, there yes 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 so i need two of these I need one for down here and one for upstairs Although, realistically, I only really need one for down upstairs because I don't really need to come down here again. Um, I have given myself, you know, a few facilities though, so kind of, and I still will want to break uh, out a few things in there. So, what did I say I needed for that? Two diamonds, four chests. Wow, 
two diamonds. <laughs> Four chests. Uh, da, da, da. Let me just go and grab myself some oak. Uh, make myself four chests. Love quark. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, four chests, planks, and a couple of ender pearls. No, I'm. I know I'm all right for those because I've got some more, and I've got a villager who sells them. So you know. Yay, win. Uh, ender pearls, planks, and a couple more of those. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, some planks. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. That's enough for those. Uh, a bit more of this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, da, 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 do those make? those do that cast that make some of those had just enough so we will not require me to go back and bang two of those so what we'll do is we shall take that out of there and place that in along with right so there's a lot of slots here currently bang and now I can access everything. Now here's a question. Can I see, is there anything in there? There should be three treasure maps. I want to check my connectivity. Yes, so that is connected. So basically this is our connection line all the way around the bottom there. And that is all very well and good. I am going to need you. And we are going to head upstairs. Uh, we're going to take that out of there, which is another piece of uh, it's painted, but you know, uh, and we'll pop you on there. And then we shall Can I not paint that? Hang on. And why is that not picking up slots? That's an inventory trim. That should be picking up everything down there. Okay, let's just try something else then. It's entirely possible. That, um, that I need to come up with something different. Let's have a look now. Yeah, now you are working, although I cannot paint you, which is a bit of a bind. Okay, it doesn't matter. So I should, I can live with that. It's, it's janky, but once I've got the spare, I can put some more terminals on there if I want to just make the entire thing into a big old terminal. I don't think that can be painted in yet. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. So let me have a look for inventory trim. I should have some more. Thought I had some more left. Nope. Uh, do I have the... Don't have what I need to make that. I can do that though. And, and I've got a cat that wants to go out. Back in a sec. All right, cat's out. Um, I need to make a coffee. That's my next job, but I'll, I'll foolishly press record, so I can't press the thing. So this clearly can't break out for that. However, there's nothing to stop me putting one in here. Let's use this painted one first. It doesn't matter. It's just a fact. Let's... Um, doesn't want to let me repaint it okay doesn't matter because that's fine oh of course that needs to be that lots of slots access the slots so I've now got access on both points um, um, we can just chunk all that lot in. Now, apart from that, let's have a look here. So I have got 
a lot of these. Not as many as I could potentially use. But if I do this, they make item vaults from create. And this is a, how do I say this, a powerful little tool uh, that will come out and go away. So what I want to do here is come down underneath and I want to go one, two, three, four this way. And then four that way. So that will be that's nine by three by three by nine. Um, that's right, isn't it? Yeah, three, six, nine. Give myself a little walk away, away around the edge. Because I'm going to need it. the place up a little bit not that we need that and then I am going to place this oops like that now I'm then going to come back this side and I'm going to do So that's a four long version of this. Uh, I do need to fill you in. I will come up here, which just destroyed the light, of course, but does not matter. And then if I come over here and press that, oh, now I've got 28,000 slots. <laughs> and I can put what did I put on there four I can't remember where's my hole there it is um, yeah I can put on another one another five layers of this so definitely a goodie um, I wonder whether I would be better off just giving myself a little access portal there. Mm, probably is the answer. Let's go with something dark and foreboding, or, or otherwise known as ebony. It's not that foreboding. Um, and ladders, 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 ladders. Don't appear to have any ladders. What ladders can I make out of that lot? Uh, blossom, mossy, oak ladder. Maybe it's simple enough that's, but have I got, I, eh. Get two of those. Again, love Quark. Because Quark allows me to do cool stuff like that. And go one, two, three, that should be fine. And that will give me that. At least until it's full anyway. So that is all of that dealt with. Now this is just gonna start piling things into all sorts of places and it doesn't matter. This is the nice thing with this mod. It, uses what storage there is um, the last thing I want from here is this um, so we can go this is bloody expensive but it will be worth it so that's our disenchantment table 
which we shall actually her how big are they there? Yeah, that will to work, won't it? Let's take all of that lot. And take those spare books. I have got more stuff that I can disenchant, but this is the stuff with the good bits on. And we are going to use the library for the bulk of our magic E goodness obviously because that's where you do it that's where it belongs now the other thing I need to do is I need to put in I need to empty these <laughs> and this actually if I'm if I'm brutally honest there's a whole load of stuff in there as well um, I have got these ordered sensibly at the moment but you know things do we have large single item storage yes we do anyway let me go to the library i will see you back and i'll have a quick chat with rorax about that uh, back in a moment all right so first things first i need to get the enchants back and and again you know this may seem overpowered i don't know um where they're, they're not worth keeping, I'm just going to grindstone them off. Um, however, you know, I've got a bit of mending. Uh, what's on you, Depth Strider? You see, those two together will make Depth Strider 3, which will be a spare, spare book, won't it? So that's the thing. Uh, blast protection. I think I've got a better one. There you go. Blast protection four. Mine's well, definitely better than things. And that can go. Well, that can go back into my leather stash. Protection five, of course, is. Sorry, four. Is. Protection five is not a thing. Um. Mending will have definitely, and that can they can just go in the trash. Uh, what we got protection? Oh, two. I'll have both of those. And again, can go in the trash. Um, and that is mending an aqua affinity. So. Definitely worthwhile keeping. And in the trash you go. Depth Strider 3, definitely. So hopefully with this I should be able to get a reasonable selection of enchants. He says pulling off some of all the best enchants from the game ever. Um, and that will obviously give me a good selection to start pulling together my non-magical armor because you know ultimately I want some kind of magical armor uh, I haven't decided on what yet but uh, on breaking three see so again fishing rod is probably not worth keeping but that's fine uh, those all three of those are good. And again, in the bin. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to have enough space in this thing, am I? Let me... Let's just use another one of those for now. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, so first things first, I've got to clear this lot. And then I need to see about combining and enchanting a few of them up. So uh, at least mending and unbreaking, that will be the starting point. Uh, and protection where we've got good stuff. Soul bound, obviously, where we've got good stuff. And uh, yeah, that will be that. Back in a bit. All right, I am not going mad. Uh, 
I definitely saw, I had a lot of video capture. One of the benefits of recording yourself is you get to see how much I have. To be fair, that is a vast amount of storage. But for some reason, this has stopped working. And I don't know why. I mean, there's stuff in there, obviously. <laughs> I suspect the problem is not so much Let me just get rid of a little bit of that. I think this is probably struggling to count the storage. So this, in fact, let me just take that out. 2,283 slots. Now these do not stack. So they are definitely going down. It's just peculiar that, oh, damn. Uh, slab one of those, please. Hmm. Very peculiar. It's definitely in there. It's definitely in there. And if I have a look at a uh, codex, there's at least three in there. Now, I'm fairly certain that there's only one there. The others must be somewhere else. And, of course, this is where half the fun starts is knowing where the stuff was stored but it doesn't really matter as long as i know the system's fine and i'm actually tempted let me um oh not like that silly like th that there we go. It's now I can get in there quite easily. I can do it from upstairs anyway, but you know, that's fine. Um, so what remains for me to do now? What remains for me to do now is for starters, let's make a couple of armor stands. Uh, and of course, Jay, I think now it does this work. Oh, it's S. It works. <laughs> that was the problem with the the last version, of course, was uh, no sticks. All right. Let's uh, let's make some. Well, here we go. Go in there. Click on that. Do some. No. Go in there. Click on that. Do some of that. I always like a few sticks about me person anyway. Make a couple of those, that will work. I also don't think I I did not. I did not empty this. Again, there's nothing significantly exciting in there. Just a few bits and pieces. Magic siphon are beneficial effects from the target don't know, but I think we'll keep hold of it. Um, I mean, you know, anything that allows me to absorb beneficial effects from my target, it's got to be good, hasn't it? Um, right, there we go. Get rid of all of that lot. And then we are on a clean... <clears throat> pardon me. And even keel. Because that's got some stuff in as well. So the next thing we need to do, apart from sit there and admire my portal from afar, loving it. <laughs> um, the next thing we got to do is, I think next episode is to work on the library. Because there's clearly no point to maintaining... Um,
all the books downstairs. We have a library space here and we might as well use it. It's going to have lots of bookshelves. It's going to be a mixture of bookshelves that are shelves and bookshelves that we can use for storage. We've got a grandfather clock there and then we've got these items as well. So what we need to do is, let me stick you away, is probably, apart from grab those as well, boop, 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 is disenchant most of this lot. Uh, that one was Shadow Step 7. God no knows. That was Blast Protection. That was Feather Falling. That was an Unbreaking. Not the most exciting, but you know, that is a Silk Touch. I've got loads of that. And that one is Silk Touch as well. Which is good. And then I'm going to. Oh, that was efficiency one. I couldn't see the point in keeping it. Um, so, take all of that. Let's pop you all in there. And let's have a think about armors and what I want to do with them. Because, you know, uh, for example, I definitely want mending. I definitely want to install soulbound. Um, and I'm actually tempted. Let's, um, let's not keep the armor stance. Let's take one set and make a set as good as we can. And then we can work out what's missing. So you definitely want mending and soul bound. Probably on breaking. Uh, want mending, definitely want. Let me just have a fertile around, and I mean, this is going to take a lot of um, a lot of hooferator um, experience, but you know, we've got means of generating that, maybe it standing killing skellies or. Um, Yeah, <laughs> or all the other things we can do. So let me just pull this together. I'll be back in a sec. All right, I'm definitely not going to get this. This this is the dream set. Well, at least it is the dream set with what I can make, and that's just plebeian stuff that hasn't got anything. Um, mending, Tombstone, Soulbound, Unbreaking 3. Goes without saying. Protection for Aqua Affinity. Not bothering with water breathing because I don't need it. Uh, projectile protection 4 on the chest plate, blast protection, protection 4 on the boots with depth strider 3 and feather falling and shadow step 7 which is if I'm stealth, you know, which can't detect me in theory. So that is going to be a lot of experience, <laughs> way more than I've got um, and I'm kind of using the village trading uh, hall which i'm not sure whether i showed you Did I, uh, i'm fairly certain i showed this kitchen but um yeah <laughs> um so i am going to need an anvil i'm going to go through the broken ones i've got to start off with because why would i not um i've got plenty of them after all and why waste iron when i don't need to but um that is going to be something I'm going to be doing off camera between episodes, I feel, because, you know, taking, well, let's start off with you and let's get Tombstone Soulbound on you for starters. Um, that cost two. Relatively inexpensive. Uh, I'm breaking. That should also be thing, and and I should give you a name, shouldn't I? I don't. I'm never certain whether that thing, um, Jesty. There we go. Uh, whether that actually makes any difference, but you know, kind of might as well. Uh, let's go with mending next on it. It's already soul bound, so and that's five, and then projectile protection on it as well. 
and that's 12. And that's 24 levels gone. But on the flip side, I've now got a decent chest plate. And if I die, I won't lose it. And it's mending, so I can use all of those good things to make that work. Now, my sword, um, I'd like to throw an enchant on it because I haven't got any sharpness enchants at all. Um, my for both of those the pick I mean you know depending on what we get on it it's end on there but I definitely need more tombstone so was tombstone soul bounds and yeah that's uh, that's going to be quite the job but that's a job for the other uh, the next episode the the fisherman farm is working fine I did lose some golems over the um, between episodes and I'm not entirely sure if that is a thing or not. If that makes any sense whatsoever. Is it a thing? Um, but yeah, so I can I can generate levels that way. Um, the other thing which, if I quickly sleep the night off, we can mention briefly. Because I'm not sure how long I've been recording, and I am unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on your perspective, uh, I am enjoying this this series far too much, um, which is a good thing. But it does mean that I waffle a bit more than maybe necessary uh, recording and, and lose track of my thing. But over here is a dungeon. Um, I've not kind of gone over this is one of the it's a dungeon we've seen before we've used it before um we've encountered it in different i think we've had it in ours magic uh, uh definitely had it in life after the woods and it's this one yeah now i have cleared this spawn of there lot spawn of there uh, I don't think there was a... I'm not sure whether there was one around this way or not. Probably not is the answer to that. Um, there is one there, however. And that's the way down, which I've got currently blocked. Because I haven't cleared any further than this. And that is a way down, which I also haven't cleared any further than this. And I could actually give this a little bit more illumination by lighting the candles I suppose as well that wouldn't of course we'll be collecting the candles up uh, is there anything that might mess mess with tags not that I'm aware of uh, I think somebody just drowned but yeah so you know uh yeah and rorax dropped me off some coffee beans um anyway on that note i'm going to call this one an episode i am going to this is obviously um a another project for another time because we want to clear that out get as much zombie spawner goodness going as possible and i think i want to come up with like a quad spawner system where they're all separate from each other and feed to a central point we can move spawners using create but um that's all a thing but next episode well hopefully by then i should have all of that armor enchanted um if not uh, well, we need to make an enchanting table. I need to work on the library, and I think I need to probably start working on the armorer and the toolsmith, and maybe a weaponsmith over here as well. So, I also need to stop these guys standing in the doorway, and I think the answer to that is going to be to make them think that they can't get to the doorway. Um, not entirely sure how I'm going to do that but we'll uh, we will sort it but until next time thanks for watching guys i will see you soon and bye for now mm -hmm.